Yes? Walk blessed. Monsieur? You're a foreigner, aren't you? My sir? I just don't see the final point. Where did I put that? Oh, hello. I haven't seen you around. Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free to take a look.
Luck list. And that, uh, feel free to take a look. Walk blessed. Definitely more comfortable than my. T you know, I just felt the need. I decided. Kind of bold, yes. But back then, I didn't care. But. Sure, take a look. Walk blessed. <laughs> Fine, I, I guess. <clears throat> I'm 
sir. Hear my words, O path of fighting people of this holy city. A miracle has city. A miracle has it. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you around here before. Just take a look around. There you are. I feared as much, and why? Please, there has to be a reason. One that explains it all. What? That? By the name of the sun? I can't believe it. What? <coughs> what about the rest? Did you find any samples? If there is any chance I can free the Hazels from the shame my grandfather caused, I have to take it. I can cure the plague. I just know it. Only if they were being handled by a fool, which I am not. Please, I can imagine how this sounds to you, but I know what I am doing. If you don't give me the samples, there's no way I can atone. Thank you. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. Here's your pay, and take this. You truly earned it. I'm in my laboratory now. There's much to do. Walk blessed, my friend.
keep walking. Pathless. <sighs> this does, you look. doesn't make sense. Well, let's hope he knows what he's doing. <sighs> My sir. Yes. Well, as I told you, I was never very popular with the other novices. You know, the novitiate was very challenging. The magisters only rarely gave us days off to contemplate, as they called it. The others usually used it to go to the tavern to gamble and drink. I never really liked that kind of pastime, and I still don't. I've never really thought about things like that. You know, life in the temple is quite secluded, and I doubt there are many men or women who would find my way of living attractive. But forgive me, that's very personal. I, I don't really want to talk about it. That's true, but when I feel the need to relax, I prefer taking a stroll or spending time in the baths. Whatever secret there is about relaxing to loud music, raucous shouting, and alcohol is beyond me. It was stitched into the blanket they found me in near that village. I don't really know if it is my actual name, but I had nothing else to go with, so it stuck. If it's really necessary, what do you want to know? Yes, but at what price? It, it isn't just what happens on the outside when it tries to take me over, Saira. At least, not just that. It's what goes on inside. My thoughts, my feelings. Imagine you are walking through a forest, all on your own. Then you hear heavy breathing, sobbing. And as you follow it, you find a wounded hunter. He's been mauled by a bear and is now heavily injured and delirious. I, that is, the part of me that is myself, would want to help this man, to get him to safety. But the moment I see blood, the smell of death, these other thoughts start invading my mind. Yes, and that sight, it would arouse it. I can't find a better word for it. If I were to give in, it would... <sighs> Forgive me, Saira. I can't talk about this. I... I am sorry. Yeah, it's just... odd to talk about it like this. Oh shit. I have to remember that. A good pipe of peace, Wade. This is too dangerous, whatever they want here. If we send spies and they get caught, Nerim will see this as a provocation. Poor, poor people. All they did was invade a foreign country, and look how ruthless we are, sending spies in order to find out why they're here. We should be ashamed. Save the sarcasm. We both know what I mean. You know my opinion, Teela. I will consider it. You come at the right time, Prophet. Commander, explain the situation. Of course, Grandmaster. Yesterday, we received word from one of our outposts in Duneville. One of the fishermen there saw warships anchoring on an island some miles from shore. And they bear the Niramese flag. We have already sent scouts to confirm this, and it is true. The Niramese have invaded our land. We have a suspicion. I suppose you know that the civil war in Nerim has ended two months ago. And who won it? The combined forces of the Northern and the Middle Realm, led by Taranor Korek of Kabait. The Southern rebels and the remnants of the Creator's Temple have been destroyed, once and for all. Now Nerim has been united under the banner of the Free People of Nerim. How they like to call themselves. And this could be the reason for these warships. Because of this, Koarek, 
It is said that he helped Narathzul Arantheal shortly before the Lightborn were slain. And while before that, he was an opportunist who changed his ideals as often as his underpants, it seems that his crusade with Narathzul converted him, so to speak. He has become a declared enemy of religion. He also thinks of the death of the gods as the first step of many. And now he sees it his task to rid Vin of religion once and for all. Free the world from the scourge of faith. These are his words. Though it is worth mentioning that his understanding of freeing includes mass executions and the burning down of temples. He's a fanatic, and worse, his men worship him for it. What he wants is to found a new world, and his free people of Nerim are supposed to be vanguard of it. Not much. Or... Yes, there is. He's a narcissist. I was surprised to hear that the banners of his free people aren't ornamented with a picture of his and an inscription saying, Praise me. Well, with the small but subtle difference that it was Narazul's vision to restore the human right of self-determination and not to obliterate every kind of superstition or spirituality. It is plain stupid to believe a way of thinking can be beaten out of someone's head with just enough violence. The only thing that does is radicalize. Though a world without religion would be a better one, that's without doubt. Nonsense. The people need a higher power that guides them. You can see what chaos the death of the Lightborn brought on the world. And without your orders doing, all this would never have happened. Of course. Where were we? Correct. What Korik doesn't understand is that we're doing this to prevent a crisis. Not before the High Ones have been stopped. The civil war on Kile, Nerim, and Arazial shows what chaos such a revelation can cause. And we will not take this risk. That is the problem. Pigast? We believe that Korak already knows about the cycle and the cleansing. And that he, how should I put it, wants it to happen. I'm afraid so. I know how strange this sounds, but in a way it makes sense. For him, Inderal as the home of the Holy Order is the epitome of ignorance and stagnation. And we suppose he even knows that we are fighting these High Ones. But in his eyes, everything a paragon of the Old Order tries to prevent from happening must be something good. Maybe he even sees the High Ones as prophets of his new era. Who knows? Fanatics are unpredictable. Right now, this is only an assumption, but we have to know. Yes. Do you know what a silver plate is? Good. Then you know that they possess the power to transfer sound from one plate to the other. Our plan is to place two of the plates in their camp. That way we can sound them out without risk. You, Firespark, and the mercenary, Dalvarek. However, you cannot travel to the island by ship. That would be too conspicuous. We found out that the Pyrians had some kind of underground transporting system. Under trains, that's what they called them. These trains connected the most important regions of the realm with each other, and thus probably also the temple on the island where Korak's ships set anchor. If we can manage to find one of these trains, we could use them to get right to his camp. And, as it happens, we have information about a Pyrian temple in the Crystal Forest. One that is still intact enough for us to find a way into one of these trains. The Living Temple. <laughs> That's how you call it, yes. But enough of the chit-chat. First of all, we need to find the gem that is used to open the gate of the temple. And I have a guess where we could find it. A village called Fogville, not far from the Whisperwood. As soon as possible.
Joseph the mercenary has already traveled to Fogville, and you should do the same. I will meet you there. So we are talking about accomplished facts, or what? It is the only way. I'm sorry, Natara. Prophet, I'm counting on you. Find out why Koare is here. Impressive weapon you carry there. It must be ancient, am I right? Hello. Oh, hello. You're the companion of that mercenary, aren't you? Prodigy, huh? Apparently, we owe you for the shards of this sigil star. Watch yourself. The streets aren't safe this time of the day.
Blessed friend. Where are you headed? Sure. Where to?
blessed, friend. Where are you headed? 